Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the All Father. hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. What's that? It's a door. was never really there.
close. comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much it's changed. Oh, no. 
The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of men was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does, because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize you were never really home in the first place. Reminds her of someone. The forest. Where? 
Which forest? If it wasn't for Drew, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. But she it didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated a sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learned them. Kill that 
which had become a part of her. Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. Broke! The gate is open! Open! There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. She is at her weakest. Will it strike to kill? Will she find Dillian before her time comes?
on Valravan's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinoa. You have the sight. We both seen darkness. We can fight it together. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findan. The Northmen captured Findan's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findan made his escape. What was Findan burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findan never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Well, in the wilds, it never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, it strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time. There is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua. 
take my iron mirror. Look into it, for it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus! 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 I see you! I see you now! You led me to the wilds! You trapped me there!
Focus now! to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. You have the sight, just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. So 
Genoa still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Don't 
the darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon and to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left.
remember your training. journey to hell. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who left hell to join her.
This is your moment. I'm sorry. I can't watch this. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight.